go. I'm here today with um, Sol, who works at the White Springs. Um, he's been here for quite a while now, hasn't he, Sol? Uh, two and a half years, I two think. Two and a half about. years, and he works here on a, on a Friday, isn't he? Uh, well, I share Fridays with somebody, yeah, yeah. so every other Friday. And this is right a, a lovely magical spot of Glastonbury, and also it's a nice place for people to come to to get their water and things like that. But he's going to tell you a little bit about the springs now. Uh, well, yeah, uh, <coughs> Glastonbury is famous for uh, two springs that come out near the base of the tour. There are others besides these, but these yeah. are the two main ones yeah. that are known about. Um, this one, which is the Wine Spring, and behind the cameraman there is the Chancellor Garden, which is the Red Spring. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the one in the Chancellor Gardens is very iron rich, it uh, tastes a bit like blood, and it's got a very high amount of iron in it. So. Uh, as far as I know, you're not supposed to drink it on a daily basis. It's oh, like right. maybe one or two glasses a week would be good. Or okay. Red spring water. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, whereas white spring water, I think, I'm right in saying it's got a very high calcite content. Yeah. So if you think calcium chalk, hence the white spring. And isn't it meant to be male and female? Yes, yes. A lot of people um, see the Chancellor Garden in the red spring as the female energy. Yeah. And the white spring yeah. as the male masculine energy. Yeah. So. And going on to that, I mean, basically, we had a big Beltane uh, festival here, didn't we, in and uh, what were you this year? <coughs> well, um, I was the main king this year, and uh, my partner was uh, Queen, so yeah, it, was, it? it was something, it was an experience that I would recommend to anyone. Yeah, and, it's, um, and you went up through the town, and where did you go? Uh, well, we started off at Market Cross, and then uh, there was a bit of, uh, uh, kind of a bardic section there with a bit of a play. Uh, and then after about 45 minutes, we came assessed up the high street to here to the White Spring, where we kind of stopped, opened the, the, the spring up, opened the gates of the Chancellor Garden, and uh, oh, the, the Maypole was blessed, blessed with the, um, the waters of the Red and the White Spring and before we went up to Bushy And this is quite unique, isn't it? It's personal, isn't it? What we do here in Beltane and things it, like this. Yeah. Oh, well, definitely. I mean, it's a real Glastonbury experience yeah. going on here, isn't it? There's not another town in, in, no. in the country like Glastonbury, no. um, I don't think. So it's, it is an incredibly unique and spiritual place. Yeah. Uh, sounds a bit of a cliche, but it is. It, yeah, is. it really is. It is. Yeah. Yeah. And how is this hotel in here then? Who's running here? We're not allowed to film in here, folks. But um, we can say what goes yeah, on. Well, we, yeah. Basically, um, the White Spring um, for I think 11 years now has been a water temple, basically a kind of sacred space for people to come and meditate, explore, uh, drink the water, bathe in the water. Uh, we have a plunge pool which is about four and a half feet deep, which is kind of about the chest height on me, and a larger but uh, shallower uh, main temple pool which is about two feet deep, which is roughly about yeah, about knee, knee deep. Um, they're very, very special places and they've been considered to be, um, well, for centuries if not millennia, ancient springs have been viewed as places of healing and um, places between the worlds, between the spiritual or the fairy realms and the physical, the magical and uh, the actual physical realm which our bodies inhabit. Um, and also, there is, I noticed on the sign here, there is wheelchair and pushchair access to the sideboard. Wonderful. So no one's excluded. Yeah, no, it's, it's a, the ethos behind the White Spring is that it is a, um, a place for everyone to come and experience, regardless of any kind of financial um, costs that would be incurred. In most other places in Glastonbury, we have kind of businesses that all charge something and yeah. offer something yeah. spiritual but I can't go by those. <laughs> yeah well other businesses in town offer yeah. offer something spiritual but that uh, comes with a, yeah. a, a price tag and quite a hefty one sometimes. Yeah, uh, this is just run on a donations basis and uh, we don't want to exclude yeah. anybody yeah. because yeah. they yeah. couldn't afford yeah. a pound or two pounds to come in yeah. so basically run on a donation basis and uh, yeah, the only free place in Glastonbury that you can visit apart from the tour. Yeah, it's wonderful. Can we have a look at the springs in a minute? Now this is the um, this is the red spring, isn't it? This one coming through now. Yeah, this is the, <coughs> yeah, this is the, um, the Chalice World Garden has 
spring, which mm -hmm. is, is referred to as, as the Red Spring, mm -hmm. uh, which you can go and see inside. It's a wonderful garden. I would recommend it. It's mm -hmm. a wonderfully landscaped garden. Um, but this is for people, obviously, that don't want to go in and 24, mm -hmm. 24 hour, basically, access yeah. to spring. Uh, a lot of people spring. just use this now, don't they? They don't use any other water, the Red Spring and the White Spring. Yeah, I mean, yeah. quite a lot of people, some people really like the Red Spring and not the White, white Spring yeah. so much. Some people really like that. But, um, yeah. My own personal favourite is to actually combine the two. Yeah. 50-50 um, and you, yeah. I, I just prefer the taste of that. Okay, now the road before I get ill. Yeah, people come here um, every day to fill up their bottles with red spring and white spring with water. Yeah. And some people mix the two together, don't they? Yeah, well, 24 hours a day, you know, yeah, you come up here in the middle of the night sometimes and, and, and people, people are here filling up containers up. and yeah. people take it home and they, they washing it, cooking yeah. it, drink it. Um, Lovely. Make pictures yeah, and essences also, yeah, with it. Yeah, we've got lots of people to yeah, do that. White spring now. So we just go over here. It's going to move her car, I think. Okay. Yeah, this is somebody's the... loading a bottle up now. Can yeah, this is the uh, the access point to to the white spring water. Like 24 hours a day, people can come and fill up here. Uh, Obviously, um, during the day, uh, five days a week from Friday through to Tuesday, yeah. so that's five days from, from Friday. Mm. Um, 1.30 to 4.30, the, the White Spring is open yeah. uh, for, for public access. Yeah. Um, okay. A lot of people will be quite bemused when they first come across, yeah. across the White Spring, because a lot of people visiting Glastonbury, mm. many know about the Red Spring, not so many know about the White Spring. And, um, yeah. It's quite something to watch people when they come yeah. in, and there's this like yeah. magical kind of wow, wow, what is this yeah, place yeah, kind of thing, amazing, you know? So, yeah. um, <laughs> if you well, this is game. We have we have we have shrines in the spring. Um, we have like a divine masculine shrine, divine feminine shrine, and also a, a shrine to the Black Madonna. As well, as well as a seasonal altar. Um, this is basically, this is a garden area. It doesn't look much like a garden, but it's a work in progress at the moment. Um, we had a we had a problem with well, quite a repetitive problem with the, the, the spring flooding, particularly in winter, uh, when the pipes used to get blocked up, and we had to dig out a pipe basically uh, not that long ago. Uh, we had to pull up all the flagstones over here, and that's the way it's now like this. But we're in the process of raising money at the moment to kind of develop this area into a, a family-friendly area, if you like. Yes, I think a lot of people that come here, um, not just out here but inside as well, will like tie a ribbon, and that could be as a, a wish for something or for a loved one that's ill. Um, very good question. I don't talk to a lot of people and ask them why do you do yeah, that. Yeah. So it's a personal thing. Yes, it's a personal, personal thing. So, but I would say that that's it's basically for, for, for a loved one quite a lot, I think, yeah. and yeah. also for personal so, um, a personal offering yeah. or something. So, 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 what would you like to see for this spring in the next eighteen months? Well, this whole area develops. Um, I think <laughs> by next, oh, fingers sorry. crossed, by. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. By next summer, maybe, yeah. um, it may be kind of resembling mm. something that would be kind of a desirable area for people to come and sit for and everybody. enjoy. And yeah. yeah, for everyone, yeah. 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 And again, you know, we don't have a fence around mm. here, so yeah. it's been people have mentioned in the past that this area has been a bit of a troubled area with yeah. certain people congregating in this yeah. area and um, so like we should have a fence around it but yeah. that would be really kind of exclusive and we wouldn't ever want to do that uh, but we just need to develop the area so that it is so yeah. if anybody wants to contact about this area this white screen can they contact Talk about it or come and see um, it or well, the, donate to it. Even. Yeah, well, the spring has yeah. a it has a website. Um, 
the whitespring.org, I think it is, uh, or if you just put in White Spring Glastonbury, uh, the, the website will come up, and that has uh, a facility to, to leave a message to um, to even contact via phone. There's a phone number at the spring, which is is primarily there for people that want to put private access outside of normal opening hours, um, and that number is actually my number. It's my responsibility at the moment to to uh, take care of bookings that we have. So. So, it's a wonderfully rainy day here in Glastonbury, but this, well, next week on the um, 18th of June, we will be doing a sequence of the art fair, and you will be there, won't you? Yeah. And um, what will you be doing there? Uh, well, I'll be offering healing um, for anyone that wants to try uh, like energy healing. It's not kind of any kind of massage or anything. I, I work with, uh, with Reiki and other forms of, of energy healing, so... I would say I don't just do Reiki or just do this. Yeah. I think, yeah, for a lot of people that do healing, I think it's a personal journey, and, yeah. and they grow and develop their own their kind of unique brand of healing. Okay. Uh, that might sound a little bit kind of new age, and, uh, yeah. okay. but uh, if you're receptive to it and yeah. you want to try it, then yeah. it, I would Wonderful. recommend it. Well, thank you for talking to me today, and please subscribe to the channel, Danielle Silver Medium and watch this space because we've got some more wonderful people coming up. So bye! <laughs> Thank you. Okay.